Alright guys, welcome back. Now, this is the bait collecting video, because we're hoping to go fishing in a couple of days, so we got our Ziploc bag full of dog biscuits, we got our two traps, and a bucket, and we're going to go and pop a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of uh, traps, and we're scooping private dam. So we're going to, uh, I've got two traps, and Greg's over there at his truck, getting some others ready, and uh, we're going to see what we can get today, so hopefully, so all we're going to do is we're just going to get our traps here ready. Oh. They're a bit rusty, I might have to upgrade before we go away to the coast because these ones are getting fairly rusty and worn. So we're just going to open our open our little bait traps holder here. Dog biscuits, now I seem, I have awesome luck with the dog biscuits. That's what I catch all my shrimp and yabbies on. And we're just going to fill up the little bait holder bag do up the zipper get the other one going now we're only here for like an hour just before the sun goes down today um, and then in two days we're going to go fishing so hopefully we can get some bait today put some more into the second trap fill up the little little bait hole there fill up the bag and we'll see what we can get with these so. no so I'm thinking we might just chuck I think I've still got these tied. We'll just chuck these ones straight out here in the weeds. So we'll get him out there. Not very, uh, so that's not deep enough just in this spot. But it might be, so we'll chuck him out again. It's alright, it doesn't have to be terribly deep. They're not the cleverest animals. But we might see if we can... Uh, Untangle this one and get them out a little bit deeper. So we'll see. Just don't want to fall in either at the same time. So we'll see if anything wants to hop in them. So, so we're literally right next to the road. And this is the dam. So there's one dam here. And there's one dam uh, just over the other side of the truck and there's another dam up there. So this is the one we'll be doing. I've got one trap there. Now if they're too shallow, I might pop around. It's a little bit deeper over there. If we have no luck here, we'll pop around there and I'll come back to you when we've got some and guys. All right. What have, ooh, what have we got so far? What have we been, what, five, ten minutes? Ten minutes and we've got a bunch of water in there. Mussels. So what have we got? We got two two freshwater mussels. Really big mussels, I mean the size of the palm of my hand. And we got heaps of perfect bait about that i got probably 10 in there so far but we've got the traps and we're going to keep going so we're going to keep going so i'll get them all out so you know like the first couple of minutes we got the perfect bait size any smaller any bigger you just chuck them back and uh, they'll live happily in there. All right, we'll come back and we'll check these. We'll check these traps now. They've been in for about 15. You never know, but I think they're way too shallow. 
Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, I think we might. All right, we're just going to change spots here for a minute. All right, so Greg's over there scooping. He's had a heap of luck, but um, I've got my two traps. I moved them over here, hoping there was more luck. And we might pull them up and see if we've had any luck. I don't know. We might have. Oh, I can hear flapping. Whoa. Can you guys see in there? If you can't, I'll open it up. I knew there was big ones in here somewhere. Perfect bait size. Look in there, guys, if you can see them. Look at those ones. Perfect. I'll add them into the bounty. We'll just give them a shake off in there. They can go in there. One. What have we got? Two. Two. Three. So we got three in that one. Or zip. Oh, hang on. We got a straggler. Perfect bait size. Look at that one. So we'll zip him up. Oh, shush, I'm busy. All right, and we'll uh, send him back out. And uh, so that one was a good hit. We'll just tie him back up to our little reeds we got here. And we'll bring in trap number two. So really quick, just in case they're hanging onto the side. And that one's an absolute flop. Nothing in that one. So they might be closer in because it's getting cold and they're going to start disappearing into the mud soon. Yeah. Is he a big one? Nice. Greg's over there showing off. Over there scooping, showing off. So do you want to pull that one there, Bailey? See if this is an open top net. Really fast. Oh, look, and we got one. No, we got two. Oh, we did have two, but they're falling through the net. And the problem with this is the holes are, are really big. But we'll chuck him back out, add him into the bucket, and we'll keep going. So we'll come back again, guys, when we hopefully we'll get some more. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. So I'm going to do the impatient check, as Robbie's fishing would say. Robbie, if you're watching. <laughs> I watch your videos all the time, Robbie, so I'm doing the impatient Robbie fishing check. Because when he's yabbing, he's so impatient. So I'm doing the Robbie fishing ch impatient check, and it has paid off. We have got one good one. And we've got another nice, another nice one here. And a tiny one. He'll be perfect. So we might chuck that trap back out. We'll check the other one. So these are actually doing pretty good at the moment, these traps. But the sun is almost on its way down. Probably half an hour to go. And we're just about running out of time. So we'll do the other impatient uh, check here really fast. And I can already hear flapping. And this one is an absolute monster. We might have to check him for eggs though. Because we don't want to uh, take, we don't want to take any that have any berries. And uh, this one looks like a huge breeding one, and he would take a finger clean off this one. So we'll just try and get him because he will uh, make you really sore. Now, look at the nippers on this one, guys. He is, a, let me get some sunlight. He is a stonker. Look at the size of the nippers on this thing. Clean, no berries. So look at that one. And he is going in the bait pot and chuck him back here but i think we're just about done for the afternoon ah uh, tuesday in two days <laughs> all right my well, greg's over there cleaning up he's been showing off and everything we're going to check check our two traps here again because so, it's getting late and sun's going down so we're just going to quickly check him but we've been getting quite a few goodies to pull him in really fast um, and we got one in here guys one for this trap not bad he's perfect bait size we'll get him out and give you a show so he doesn't bite me but this is what we're after oh, if I can get him I feel let go I don't want him to lose a nipper either but this is what we're after 
he's perfect don't you f perfect perfect bait size no eggs no berries so he's going to go in the bucket and we'll get this one back here we're just here for a little bit probably about half an hour longer because we're getting our bait is actually we're getting quite a lot uh, a lot quicker than we expected so we've nearly got quite enough for the fish that we want to do in a couple of days and we've also got worms and some chicken just in case so we'll pull this one up really fast and i think we've got some more in this one too <laughs> and we have got massive ones in here and look at these guys look at this one i'll see if i can poke your head in there look at the size of that one all right he's going to be a a cranky sod to get but take a look at this one i'm just got to hold his claws because he's really cranky but get a load of that one perfect perfect bait size that's what we're after so he's going to go in the bucket and we got three three littlies so he's perfect size as well we got another one who's not too happy another one and one more so we've just about got as much bait we need so he's perfect size too we'll chuck him out greg's probably got a whole bucket over there so we're gonna i'll chuck mine out for a little bit one last time and i'll go over and see what greg's got in because he's been scooping over there and uh there see the dog biscuits guys work awesome you see you don't need to have expensive meat or anything just a couple of handfuls of dog biscuits and now we're going to pull in the open top net oh and we got to put him down by us yeah got him this is the one net that keeps escaping see that they just completely well let that oh here can go oh. Oh, 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 oh. so here we go we got some little ones here we got one that just will not let go of my finger i mean he is cranky look hanging on for the ride and then we've got a nice a nice one here he's going in the bucket Bailey's put that one back out and we'll come back when we've got another one guys but as you can see we've got an awesome awesome sunset to finish off a coldy day now if you guys are liking what you see head over to youtube hunts fishing adventures new south wales don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because there will be uh, uploaded video by the end of the week for this one. So hope you guys like what you see and uh, we'll see you in a few days. All right, this is the river, guys. Um, it will be fishing today and I've got one rod out. That one's got a cray bob with a little sinker. This one's just got a big cray bob with no sinker. And this is the different part of the river we'll be fishing today. I've got Greg over there and, and Kyle. But this is the river today. So hopefully we've got big things to come. I've got big baits here, little ones. So we'll come back when we've got something, guys. All right. Hooked up, guys. I think I've got my first cod for this river. Just got to be careful because there's a heap of blackberries. He's, look, he's running me straight to the bank. I only got to be careful. I've only got light leader on too. I just got to bring him. Got to bring him back around to me. Look at that. No, that's a big euro. Hold on. I think I got a European carp on a cray bob. I think. I think I did. Oh, gross. I can't get away from these carp, can I? But that's all right. We'll get him and we'll knock him on the head. Oh, wow. I thought I had a big cod on there when I seen him. <laughs> yeah, I might need your larger net, I think. My one with the little handle's just not going to cut it. Well, my new leader knot um, held. So the new knot, guys, I'm using is the surgeon's loop. Takes about 
four seconds to do and what have we got all a 60 probably another 60 centimeter bugger look at that yeah don't go no further you'll fall in going straight for the weeds he is I can't get him any can you go any lower if I scoop ready <laughs> all right just had to pull Greg in and he fell in there all right what have we got let's have a look at him and on cray bob 50. about 50 I thought I had a good um mm -hmm. yeah see look they're not held look at that a new knot that I found that I can finally do a, a lead or two it's all right I'll just grab the me lippy grips and get into it all right he spat half of the cray bob out look there's a little bit mm. little bit there but I'll get him look at him no don't do that All right, here, we, here he is. We'll get that hook out of him. Ow. And he broke my finger. <laughs> oh, wow. He's actually a bit solider than the, than the ones we've been getting. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have used such a big hook, hey? Probably another turtle, because Kyle just got himself a turtle. I just got to try and get this hook out. Because you can see they've got the real rubbery lips. It's like a catfish. Get that surgeon got it. I got him. Got him. <laughs> all right. Let's measure him, all right? We're going to measure him properly this time. So... Measure him ready, here we go. Got the mat out over there if you want. So he is 60 centimeters, guys. No, he didn't. So there he is. 60 centimeter carp all right guys so we'll knock him on the head and unfortunately he's going in the bush and i think it might be a big mirror carp if you have a look at the scales mm. he's got the euro mouth but all right well we'll take care of him and uh we'll uh get him going Alrighty, let's do that again. Oh. Uh, actually, I don't know, I know if, I think this might be a cod. It's either a carp or a little cod. No, nah. no, nah, it's another little European carp. This one's a bit feistier than the last one. Yeah, he's, he's not bad, this one. He's only hooked like right in the top lip there, eh? The blackberry. Oh, I know they're bad, aren't they? Everyone <laughs> coming to have a look at where we're fishing today. Is that two of them? No, just the one carp. Here he comes. <clears throat> hey, there we go. And the blackberries have got you again. All right, that's two carp. Yeah, we got none. All right, here's another one. Let's see, uh, he's, he's, he's definitely smaller, but he was a lot, he had a lot more energy than the last one, dude.
Thing. There we go. Yes. Just and he's hooked himself. Oh, in the roof of the mouth. There we go. Another one. Puh, yuck. Puh. <laughs> yeah, I just got carp juice in my mouth. <laughs> it looks like a catfish. So there's another one. A little bit smaller than the last one. But let's give him a measure anyway. What do you reckon this one is? Place your bets. I'll say 55. I'd go 40, 45. Oh, he's 50. He's 50 on the dot. 50 on the dot, so Greg won that bet. So that his bet is I'm going to push him in the river. Because he hates water. All right, so there's another one. Still still waiting for that yellow belly or oh, cod. But we'll grab a crip photo of him and we'll chuck him in the bush. <laughs> See if I can grab him a bit better. <laughs> All right, he's going in the bush, same as his other friends. So here we go. See, you wouldn't want another be. one. He kept, he kept doing me, but I finally got him. Kyle, have that net behind you, mate. Ah, you ready? Oh yeah, we got him. Little bugger. <laughs> yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, another one. Oh, seems to be the attack of the carp today, doesn't it? Oh, we were trying to get yellow belly and cod today. Mm -hmm. But all we got is it's these, probably because of all that big flood and rain we had. Well, he's a nice, another nice one, isn't he? The hook just come out, did I? Was he, he's hooked in the eyeball. Well, he what? That one? He is. Or it's going right through his mouth. Oh, it's hooked him, it's gone, it's gone through his mouth and it's come out and hooked out the other side, isn't it? Even hooked in the net. I think there. Yeah, look, oh, it's hooked him through the nostril. That's what's happened. It's hooked him right through the nose. Just give it a hard pull, yeah. Literally hooked him right through his little nostril. <clears throat> there we go. Well, I think we might uh, find a new spot because I think we're just carp after carp on this nest. And what do you reckon for this one? 50 or 55? Let's have a look, huh? 48. 48. Tighten your drag. Oh, you had one. Tighten your drag up. You'll bust. Oh, I think you lost him. Look at the swirl out there. Look at the swirl. He had one. Kyle almost had his first fish of the morning. Uh, this one is oh, 50. Wow. Chuck him back. Put another crab bob on there. So there we go. Another 50. I've got a few Another sore. Photo. Yeah, we'll grab one more. We'll grab a third photo over the morning for the carp. But you chuck him back out there, Kyle. If it's a carp, he'll take any last little bit. I had a head, like a cray bob head on my last one. <laughs> All right. Well, he's going in the bush, guys, to join his friend. So we'll see ya. And we'll get back and we'll do that again. <sighs> Another bloody, he hooked himself, this one. I thought I'd missed it. No, he's only tiny, he's just, he's just cranky. Another one. On the big rod this time. 
Oh, you dropped your knife. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, we got we got one on the big rod this time. A bit smaller, but still as feisty as all. Oh, I just got carp juice on me. So gross. And in the corner of the mouth, it was well the same as the last one. All right, let's see what's the bets on this one. Forty-five. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's see what he is. Forty-seven six. Fifty again. They're all that fifty soon. I was close. They're all that 50 centimetre mark. Oh, and they're all, well, this guy's one pound on the scales. One pound, so there he is, another one. This is number four. All on yabbies. All right, well, he's gonna go and join his mates in the bush, which is up there, and we'll do that again. All right, Greg is on here with our first catfish ever. Let's see if we can get him without falling in. Hold on. Oh, I got him. Yeah, Greg's got his catfish. Look at that. Hey. Yeah, you have to wait. It's in my mouth. Oh, Greg's got his first fresh foot. Hang on, I got a hook in my mouth. His first fresh water catfish for i don't know how long has it been since you've got a catfish <laughs> years years right there's your hook clip that on <coughs> all right yep all right we'll get him out i have not seen a catfish in years and they it is good to see because I thought the carp might have eaten them all. But they just get a bit of lockjaw, they tend to. Especially these freshwater ones, they do not like to open their mouth. Okay, here he is. And the way you hold them is not like that, mm. but they've got barbs right behind here and on the top. Yeah. And up here. And uh, you reckon that hook will just pop straight out of his mouth? Hopefully, you got hold of him. Yeah, I got hold of him enough. Did you hook him in the top lip? Yeah. No, nah, you hooked him in the bottom and the top. Hold on. Basically, hooked himself. Oh, see if we can't, can't get this hook out of his mouth because he's hooked himself. Virgins. He's hooked himself pretty good, so we've got to get the, the fancy pants pliers out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just give it a twist and it should pop out of his bottom and top lip there. Almost. Yeah, there we go. See that? Look, that spike's mm. almost in my finger. <laughs> All right, so there he is. He's not too bad, is he? Keep that thing on the map. All right. First one that I've seen in years anyway. He's all yours. I don't know what you want done with him. Do you want the animal? That's a... Mm. Andy. But Greg and his catfish. There you go. That one's broken, that top spine, so. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'll just wash my hands and we'll grab Greg a photo here. Yeah? That's our first one we've ever caught, actually. That we've ever caught in a little while. Yeah, you got one here. Oh. Yeah, I did. All right, I'm all good. I can take a photo now. <laughs> Cleaned off my hands. Because catfish have got some wicked slime. <laughs> all right, here we go. Yep. 
Yeah, he's not bad. <laughs> All right, look out, Donald Trump. All right, why is my line all the way out there being a nong? Wow, that's nice to see because I didn't, I thought they were almost non existent lately. That is very good to see the old caddia coming back. Come on, work. All right, Kyle's got his first car, bro. Hold on there, Kyle. Don't go, don't wheel him in any. Let a bit of line out. Stuck. It's stuck really bad. Let him go a bit. Hold on, let him go. As he wants to go. Hold on, I can't get him because he's in the. I've got to get him to come out. Let, it, let a bit of line out. I need him to come away from that blackberry. I can't actually get him. He's just stuck in all this crap. I just need him to swim out. All right. All right, I think we got it. All right, wind a little bit. Oh, you got him. All right, got him, there you go. Got yourself your carp. Yes. All right, he's all yours. You can play with him. No, I want him. Yep, he's yours, you hooked him. You gotta do it now. He's your carp. <laughs> He's not a bad, what about 30 centimeters? Mm. They're there, yep. Can I keep this one? Ah, uh, you don't keep carp, dude. Mm. You chuck them away. Yep. No, I do, do get it for the net. Yeah. The net, please. Please, Why? the net. Just do it in there. All right, here he goes. Good old net shot. Here he is. Gee. He's not bad. Oh, good yeah, lord! That got him through. <clears throat> not need the surgicals. <laughs> no, he's just hooked on the other side here. Okay. Are you right? There you go, Kyle. Hold him. Put your rod down, and we'll get a photo. He's not going to go anywhere because they're under him, all right? Just hold him with the handle. He's not going to hurt you, just hold him. Put the other hand under here. Use the other hand first. Because he's going to kick around. I don't want him to. Well, you would too if you had something in your mouth. Can you turn around That's it, hold him. Yep. up under here. Don't pull that back up here. That's it now, don't, don't now just don't let go and we'll get a photo. <laughs> Go quick. Ah, big euro. Alright guys, I got me I got me fifth carp for the morning. Oh he's actually hooked through the gill plate. Look at that. He's a bit tangled up in my other line too. Um mm, he's really tangled up, isn't he? I'll bring him as close as I can to you. There you go. All right, we got our fifth one. <sighs> and he's made a mess. Mm. A real big mess of my other rod. See, look, hooked him fair in the gill plate. Look, 
hook just literally fell out. Deal with that in a minute. Alright, there we go. Fifth one for the day. Fifth carp for the day. Yeah, look, I hooked him. Hooked him right in the side of the gill plate. <laughs> All right, what do you reckon he is? I'll say 40, 40 yeah. Let's give him a measure. He's 45 on the dot, this one. Oh, he's still got a bit of life in him. Not for much longer, but there he is. All been about that same, same size. Oh. Oh. He cranky on this one. All right, we'll uh, get a quick photo of him and we'll get him in the bush. <laughs> All right, in the bush he goes to join his friends. He made one hell of a mess. I've got to try and untangle, but that's the fifth one for the for today.